perfect. Alright, welcome to We Like Dota, Dota League Season Radiant 1, the Intergenerational. This is match 17, and it is Team uh, Huge Douches <clears throat> versus Too Easy for Artesia, I think. Dime's I'm not looking bad. right now. I'm pretty You're sure correct. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Last Talon. Joining Dime's me is Pendy. Bad. You can find him on Twitter as well at Pendy underscore 617. Hi, Pendy. Hello. Alright, let's get started. Band's coming up fast again. Ooh, a Legion Commander ban. Yeah. Let's right, see. Then. Gotta seconds. look at the meta. That's one I haven't expected. Uh, she's Five been picked seconds. twice. Hurry, this will be the hurry. second ban. All right. Radiant team pick. Um, let's see. We face this void ban as well. Doom and Death Prophet, all very popular bans, I think. Vengeful Spirit first pick. Dire team are now picking. She's been Man, pretty effective just... in the league, so I think. I mean, I'm I'm starting to like the Vengeful Spirit picks, to be honest. They make for yeah. good games. Yeah, I think they do as well. She just has a lot to offer. She's one of those heroes again that like you could put her in an off lane, you could support. She has a lot of, uh, I guess, flexible. She's pretty flexible, so it, it makes sense to nice pick. And there's Ancient App Apparition, which. Uh, I mean, I think he's uh, a pretty been good a good support too. so far. Yeah. Yeah, like I was saying the other in the other game, he has the highest uh, KDA right now. Yep. So that's I mean that's pretty good. <laughs> Ten seconds to yeah. pick. Yep. This will be his uh, his third pick of the league. Five so, seconds uh, remain. Yeah. I mean he it's very easy to get assists with him as part of that. Reserve yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. I mean once once you get level six, you you have global presence. Um, oh, yeah. And not Silence. not many oh. supports can say that. Oh boy, here we go. Second Silence silencer pick. pick. Second one of Are the. Are they going uh, for oh, global don't. presence team maybe? Because they have some good bad. global presence alts so far. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. We have the tide hunter pick as well. Always gotta love the ravage. Yeah. It's, makes a good off laner. He doesn't have to be though. He's also yeah. good in Only ten you know, seconds. a dual lane. Or even a try lane. I, five seconds yeah, remain. Yeah, I, I kind of like, uh, I, I've kind of liked seeing Tide roll into that Reserve four position time. where you get him some, some fairly good farm and you get a Ravage and you don't have to commit a, so much farm because Tide's one of those heroes that, yeah, he does all right in the off lane. You add the Kraken shell and everything, but, yeah. you know, it, it, I it feel like bad. Tide, there comes a point in the game where you go, man, I wish I could give some of this farm to someone else, you know? Yeah. A Viper van. I haven't. I don't think I've gotten the chance to cast a Viper game. Maybe once, but uh, maybe ten seconds but to it's pick. Usually pretty good to ban him out. I think if you don't want to go Radiant against him, it's one of the most effective things to do against Viper, in my opinion. I completely agree. Terrorblade also banned out. I think we're starting to get into the point where people just don't want to go against him. A lot like the pro meta, people just don't want to go against him. You just ban him out. Ten seconds to pick. Yeah, well, I mean, because really and truly Five the only seconds. way to stop hurry, a Terror Blade hurry. is to stop him in the laning phase. Yeah. And Terror Blade is one of those heroes Reserve that, like, time. you have to focus oh. your whole game plan around shutting him down. And Dyer's not bad. too many teams want to play a game where that has to be the focus, where it's like yeah. I'm all the time having to babysit making sure this guy's not getting farmed. Yep. We have the Omni Knight Dyer ban as well. Pick. Also the Invoker ban coming out. This draft and is going so, by pretty fast. Yeah, this this draft is is flying by. Invoker is another hero we haven't seen much in the uh, the league. Only one pick. This is going to be the fifth ban on uh, Invoker. So, not too many people allowed to flex their Invoker skills so far. Yeah. Only ten seconds. I mean, I'm not sure we have a huge number of people who even play him Five in the league. To be honest. Name. Yeah. I've been really surprised at some of the times people pick the Invoker ban, actually, Reserve because, time. uh, like, now I don't think it makes a whole lot of sense to ban Invoker right now, like, possibly, but I don't, I don't think it's the best choice. They're clearly trying to ban out the mid choices yeah. with this last set of bans, but I think there could have been a better, maybe, better mid choice there. To ban yeah, out. I think so, because I think Silencer deals pretty Radiant well with Invoker. Mm -hmm. You know, um, yeah. 
so I, I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like you. Uh, I don't like that. I do like the Razor mid. Yeah, the, the Razor like pickup would be a great mid here. I mean, and they, they have options, too. All three of these heroes on the Dire could be played mid. I yeah. would prefer the Razor, provided that no one is good against him that they end up picking. But, you know, yeah. it... It's definitely a good pickup. Only ten seconds. Yeah. Well, I uh, I think for me, whenever Five I see seconds. a razor hurry, mid, hurry. Uh, I like to either. There are three heroes that come to mind for me. Number one is Death Reserve Prophet, banned out. Number two is yeah. Viper, banned out. And number three, even though it's melee, I I kind of like the Brew because once you get to level six and you get that split, you can really cause some havoc. And yeah. uh, Razor can't always shut you down. So I mean, the the other pick that is actually a good mid against Razor is the Invoker, which they've already banned out. Yep, it's a good point as well. You know, I think if you're this point, you're sitting there, huge douches, going, um, "Can I get Viper back?" Or invoke yeah. her back, please. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they they're gonna have a hard time with their mid choice now. They yeah. spend a lot of time banning out mids, and that that may have been their decision. Actually, was the razor. Yeah. I mean, looking at it, these are heroes that you definitely don't want to go against sniper. with razor. They've decided oh. to go sniper. Okay, could right. work yeah, out. We'll see. Picking. Depends how that ends up going. If that is their mid choice. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, the, again, it's hard to pick a melee that wants to go against Razor in the mid, and uh, yeah, for sure. pretty much the ranged heroes that are good mids are kind of out of the pool, at least that are in the current meta. Anyway. Well, I mean, and like I was saying, the, the Ancient Apparition, the Silencer, and the Razor pick. could all be mid. They're definitely looking at Razor being mid if they can, Five but like, seconds. if hurry, they put the Sniper hurry. mid, the Silencer could just go mid. And the That's silencer out harasses the sniper Reserve really time. easily. It's hard That's to deal a good with. Point. Um, so they have to be really careful now who they're going to actually put mid. If yeah. I were Radiant, if I were Huge Douches right now, I would pick a second person that could possibly go mid, but doesn't have to. Yeah, I know. I I would I would agree with that. If you're looking at the three heroes that are out on each side right now, the uh, Radiant are definitely more locked in to kind of what they have to do as far as showing their hand yeah. uh, versus the dire, you know. Oh, for sure. I mean, at this point, you pretty much can say, well, you're probably not going to use Venge and Tide as your supports because the five position Venge is, is kind of tough. Yeah. Um, so, but, I mean, up, up top with the dire, Silencer, Ancient Apparition could be anything from your core to your... Uh, support, so... Oh, yeah. Timbersaw. We have a Timbersaw coming out. That would be a pretty Brilliant. good off lane, perhaps, him. spreading out if they lane this. Um, I'm glad he's getting into the game, though. But I'm not yes, sure exactly how they're planning the... on using it right now. That's right. I completely forgot about that till you said that. But yeah, this is the very first time we have had a Timbersaw pick or ban. So... Yeah. Man, I, if you get some good farm and you snowball on Timbersaw and you get that double chakram now, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Only ten that's seconds. just that's nasty. Oh, it yeah. really is. Five seconds remain. Well, I think at this point, if I am Reserve huge douches, time. Uh, okay, Jakiro. Jakiro, pick up that would be a good five man. position, like you were saying. Yeah. Now we can have that Jakiro five position. Mm-hmm. But I still think they'll have trouble mid because Dyer has the ability to change it up, like I said, and I'm almost certain they're going to. I wouldn't... Ten seconds I mean, to I, pick. I, I would definitely put the Silencer in this lineup against that Sniper. Five if seconds. I were drafting. Hurry, like I'm hurry. Saying. Um, I, I, can't argue, I can't argue with that. A, a Silencer up against a Sniper, time. like you said. Um, I mean, it may not have been the original plan, but it would right. work really well. Get the chaos snipe band out, and that's a good decision. Radio they need to uh, think of who is going to be like a main carry in a lane right now. They yep. and they need someone who can uh, do that pretty well, I think. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing is, if you're down at uh, huge douches, unless they commit to Dirty sniper being pick. the number one, they just don't have that number one right now. And a ban on Spectre here. I'm not sure on that decision. If I were a Dire Painter right now, I want to get some support probably who has some good stun. I don't think the Silencer is going to be a full support here. At least not full. He may even just be a carry. 
So I'm yeah, I'm I'm not sure about that Specter ban. To be completely honest, I yeah. was actually leaning towards ten seconds to hoping pick. huge douches took someone like a Specter. Or I've been calling yeah. for it all Five night, man. A Naga. Naga would be good. Get, yeah. get a Naga. You know that would be a good lane for the uh, reserve time. For, you know the huge douches here on the radiant. Radiant. Well. Emperor Spirit is also a mid hero here. Okay. All right. Um, well then, looks like looks like I think we're gonna have a four, four position silencer with the five uh, going to the ancient apparition. I guess is how they're gonna do that. Now, maybe, as far as the yeah. lanes, um, <laughs> no clue. <laughs> yeah, maybe they do two dual lanes here. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. That this is a hard uh, thing to pick here. Okay, I'm telling you, Naga. Five you need seconds. Naga. Hurry, hurry. <laughs> Just if we'll it's not Naga, it. you need somebody that's gonna out, out carry. Ember. They need someone who lasts a long time on their yeah. team here. Medusa, um, Naga. I Naga. I actually wouldn't do Medusa here because they need someone who comes online a bit earlier too. So Naga uh, would be a good choice because she does yeah. come online pretty early. She's not super effective really early, but she at least can do something earlier on. Yeah. But I don't think Medusa. Medusa takes quite a while to start doing stuff. It wouldn't. It, I think they'll lose before that happens with the heroes they have right now. They need someone who can. Naga yeah, there's the Naga. Yeah! There we go. Yes. Thank you. Yes. All right. Now I'm almost certain the Ember Spirit is meant to be mid here because if it's their last pickup, they kind of got to do that. I think. So. I, yeah. I, I, I think you were right with the silencer being position four and ancient apparition going five as a result. Because yep. once, I mean, the ancient apparition just needs those levels. Once he has level six, he can do whatever he wants. He could just yep. hang out in fountain, really. Yep. I mean. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, you're exactly right. Yeah. So I, I think he's the one who is able to take position five here. No one else yep. really is on their team. Yeah. And I think the Jakiro is for sure position five on huge douches here. Yeah. Um,. I'm thinking Venge on the four, seconds. Tide's probably the off lane, uh, Sniper mid, yeah. and the, the one position, Naga. Yep, for sure. So, yeah. And I guess it all depends, really, then, how long it takes them to come online with those heroes. Yeah. Because that's going to... Ooh, we have pause already. Having lag issues, I'll check my ping here. My ping is fine. Oh well. Once again, digital sports. Oh. Oh, all right. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening here. Yeah, I'm completely fine. Uh, completely fine with ping over here, but that's just me. We'll just hold on here. I'll start introducing the heroes, even though they don't have their items yet, I think. Uh, Calvin Smokes Bucks is on the Silencer. We have Patrick Bateman on the Ember Spirit there. Jack Survive is on the Razor. Nice set on the Razor. I'm liking that. Nice helmet. Anarchies is on the Ancient Apparition, and somebody is on Timber Saw. We're starting to pick up the items here. Freddy Bunnies is on the Sniper. have that same cape, I really like it. We have the Naga Siren going safe lane, as she probably should be. I think we got that lineup a bit pegged there. Yeah. They don't, they don't have much choice. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Madness is on the Naga Siren. Um, we have Vanilla Ice Ice Ice, not sure who that actually is, on the Tide Hunter. Looks like we have actually maybe the Jakiro going top here. Kylar is on the Jakiro. One minute until thirty seconds. And Venge is going safe lane, and it's huge douche on the Vengeful Spirit. Action going on in the jungle. Pings. <laughs> oh my. The good old troll ping. Oh. 
So yeah, timber saw is going to be that offline nice taunt on the timber saw. <laughs> on the fleeting and fragile nature of life begin. Um, but we have looks like Ember Spirit here not being mid. He's going for the block here in safe lane with the tri lane here it looks like with the ancient apparition and the silencer being supports. Yep. Mid that means is the razor. Yep. Going against that sniper. And so I think that really leaves it up to who is better at harassing to who wins this lane at mid here. No one checks the runes right away. Oh, right, uh, Dyer, uh, Dyer did lay a ward down. Actually, they yeah. warded both runes, but they don't really care to go get it. But uh, yeah, got some well, and for, going and for that matter, top already. Just yeah. harass it looks like for now. Securing some farm. So I guess it's a five position uh, number spear. Or not five, one position rather. Yeah, one My position. My bad. Com completely yeah, like, opposite. Uh, yeah, five <laughs> position number spear, you guys. New meta. Uh, an ancient one and a number five. That'll work. Yeah. yeah. My. I, I like this ward. Confused. I, I, I actually really enjoy this ward here from the Radiant uh, in the off lane. Uh, uh, which one? It's right here in the jungle. Oh, the jungle ward, okay. Yeah, yeah I, that's a nice I, ward. I, I really like that ward. It gives you like vision on all the lanes where you could be getting ganked from. You see coming yeah. up from the river, from the uh, main jungle. I, I really enjoy that ward. Yeah, pretty sure. And it's probably just from someone who normally plays the off lane. That's that's why I like that ward. I feel safe with that ward. Yeah. <laughs> suppose we should check the creep score here. Yeah. Everyone's doing pretty well who needs to be, it looks like. Yeah. Not and a nobody, lot of competition going on over it yet. And nobody nobody really separating themselves. A lot of denies in the mid there. Each yeah, one oh this. definitely. Yeah. Looks like we have Jakiro coming to mid here. Oops. Little camera mishap. The sniper is getting harassed out quite a lot here. That's gonna be a problem for him. Yeah. He doesn't have a lot of health to begin with. He did not bring a lot of regen either. Jakira's just hanging out though. Maybe early gank on the razor is what we're going for here. Um, razor finds him though. That's not good. And we have uh, Silencer coming in to help the razor. He's gonna go around. It looks like the drone on the map. Yeah, drew that nice, uh... No, no, no! Oh, it was oh, yeah. Razor that drew that, yeah. Yep. And it looks like, uh, Silence is actually going back home. Yeah. Unfortunately, this Tidehunter, I don't think, is mu able to do much in the way of stopping this Ember Spirit from farming. He no. can splash him and spit on him, but that's yeah. not gonna do much. Yes. They need some, he needs uh, to watch up himself. Yeah, they... <laughs> and he, he's taking tons of rats. Yeah, he's gonna he's go down. Yeah. I mean, he has yeah. this ward, he First should have seen Silencer right ward. there, and, and at that point, <laughs> when you do have this ward... If oh, we have action going on bottom too, the Timber Saw is taking a lot of harass, he's going to chain out, and it is going to be enough to get him away it looks like, the Jakira was chasing pretty hard there, he's going to take a couple tower hits from that, but the Timber Saw has salved up, he's going to be able to stay in lane here, he has tons of regen here, he's probably made a good decision in that regard. He knows he's going against this tri lane here, yeah. it's going to be difficult. Yeah, it is going to be difficult because he, you know, Timbersaw starts out with zero base armor, and then Vinge with the negative armor, if she stays over here in this lane, that could really lead to some problems for Timbersaw. Yeah. It looks like we have Jakira rotating up top here. Go! Looks like they know this silencer is farming here. I'm not sure. Yeah, they do, but I don't Oh, they I have the ward there. That's how they know. Okay, I was going to yeah. say it's a bit confusing. Tidehunter goes in and try and stop it, but he's <laughs> just going to take her ass for it. Jakira's going to come help yeah. harass the silencer yeah. out a little bit, but... Yeah, that's the thing is, yeah, they've got the ward. Yeah, they see that happening, but doing something about it is a completely different story. Yeah. 
The Ember Spirit, meanwhile, is getting a whole lot of free farm. He's getting a, lots of, uh, a lot of denies off as well. That's not good for the Tidehunter there. The only problem I see with this Trilane, actually, is that you have the Ancient Apparition and the Silencer both in this Trilane, which means that they're not going to be getting the levels they need to get their ults very fast. And that yeah, is a it, big part of their playstyle. Yeah, I mean, for both heroes, um, you want to get to level 6 and you want to do it as quick as you can because then you really start to reach And Razor goes down mid here. Good gank from the dire s or from the radiant side here. Which what you were just talking about that that leads further into it because now Jakiro and Venge, since they Dyer's went to mid to gank there, attacked. are now up to level four. So, yeah. um, which ancient is up to level four, but Silencer is still three. But like you were saying, that's that's gonna Silence be what I think they need here. to do. I wonder what he's going for. He may be trying to go for a gank on the mid hero, but he's long gone already. Yeah. Um, he's going to be waiting a long time if he's going to do that. Haste. Very little rune control coming out so far, actually. Extremely. They missed the 4 minute oh, and the 2 tide. minute runes. Tide could be... no. Okay. No. Well, they were going to go on Tide. Silencer was trying to use that haste rune, but... Uh... Ember and Ancient weren't quite ready for that. Looks like there's more drawing going out here. I'm not sure what they're planning. Ember Spirit's taking some heavy harass here. He may go down. He's gonna He's go so down. so close. Ooh, there he goes there down. Is. Sniper ult is very useful in that case. Ice Path goes out on the Ancient Apparition. He's getting harassed as well. He's gonna take that damage over time and the Sniper hits. He goes down too. And thanks to that ward, it's almost out, but they definitely know Silencer is still there. Oh, yeah. And I don't think there's much the Silencer is going to be able to do against these three heroes pushing into the tower. They're definitely trying to take this tower early. Here we have rotations coming in. That's going to probably stop them. And this Tide is out of mana. There's not much he can do here. He's getting yeah, low. He's, yeah. And he's gonna go down he's here. Gonna oh, go. he's gonna barely get away. Nice block from the Jakiro. The Ember yep. Spear takes a lot of hits. Oh. oh. And meanwhile, the Sniper gets him as well. Sniper is behind. He's gonna hit these guys hard. There's not much they can do against him here. The Sniper is starting to get fed. I'm polite and efficient. Yep, a fed sniper is a scary sniper. Although the Razor is getting fed by farming creeps mid here, although I think it would be better for the Razor to be rotating somewhere to help out at this point. And the sniper is coming back mid here. This may not be good for the Razor because the sniper is starting to pull a little bit ahead. He's a little behind in levels, but he has the gold now. He has his uh, Morbid Mask already. And he turns it into a Mask of Madness. That's a very early Mask of Madness. Just over yep. 8 minutes. Yep. And equally uh, as scary, I think, for um, Radiance Bottom Tower too easy fire. for Arteezy is that Naga is getting some nice farm. Yeah. So 33 and 1 oh, over there on her. Um, already at level 6, so Song is available. Ravage is already available. A um, lot of team fight potential, I think, over here for yeah. uh, huge douches at this point. Yeah, and unfortunately, the people who are behind in level was that tri lane here. We have uh, yeah. Ancient Apparition just get getting kill. level 5. Yep. Where is the Timber? Oh, mid. T timber and uh, Razor just went on uh, uh, the Sniper. The yeah. Timber oh, that's a lot of damage in. stolen. Jeez, 140 damage stolen on that Razor. Yeah. Max Radiant's level static link already. Being yeah. That's. Oh, my. Radiant That's a scary razor. Fortified. But it, it's already gone. Looks like he's gonna TP away. He's gonna TP top. They're gonna get the tide. Oh, tide but a good ravage. gets a ravage off here. And he's just gonna walk away, it looks like. Yep, but now, now you just have a 150 second cooldown just to get away. So. Yeah. I mean, I understand he had to do it, or else he was just completely gonna die, but. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I think it's worth it. There's not yeah. a lot of team fight going on yet. The Ravage being lost is not as important as his death. So. 
I think that's a good choice. Oh. Well, look bottom. Yeah. I, I think they're going to make a push here. here. We've got four from uh, huge douches. They're going to make a push on this. Liquid fire goes onto the tower. Right. They're diving this tower. Fortified. Mask of Madness is off on the sniper, but uh, he's not able to really use it. But they're just going to push the tower while they're here. They have rotations, rotations coming in. Yep. Timbersaw they pulling need the ahead song. here. They need the song. Timbersaw going hard on the sniper. Sniper is going to go down here. Static link going out on the bench. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, my. Everyone and going down. Chihiro needs to back up. He needs to be careful. Chihiro is the only one defending the tower. Ice path goes out. Not gonna do much. Uh, don't go in there, buddy. Oh, you don't want oh, no part yeah. of that. <laughs> That's how much damage. And another 140 damage stolen from the static link. It just makes Razor ridiculous while that's going on. Yeah. Tidehunter is farming top alone, which means the Jakiro is also left alone. Yeah. Jakiro is forced back way out. Radiance middle I, is taking damage. I really think Naga should have bought the song. There. Yeah, it, it would have been a good choice. I was looking at the changes that Radiance happened today, actually, just a few attacked. minutes ago before the uh, second match started today. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, her cast point on song now is actually is 0.8 seconds. Radiance bottom that, tower that's fire. a bit harder to get off Radiance now, I think. Tower yeah. Is demolished. yeah. When it when it happens nearly a second after you push the button, that's kind of yeah. kind of scary. Ice path goes out. Yeah, they do is. miss though. He's gonna just walk away probably. This Ember Spirit is having a lot of trouble keeping up with his mana. He has a bottle, but uh, he has not been getting too many runes. Looks like he's gonna grab this invis rune here. It's gonna change to a regen rune, just what he needed, it looks like. Mid, we have some action going on the razor here. Naga Siren has moved mid. Yeah, Ember is rotating in. Ember is gonna try and get her. She gets bullet here. Song goes off here, though. And she is out of mana, she's just gonna have to walk away. Yeah. Meanwhile, this looks like the Dyer is able to push mid here. They're going to yeah, get at least some good damage on this tower here. And they have a nice ward right here, Radiant and that's letting them know all these people towers. that are rotating in. They see him. They're pinging him out right now. They know Radiant Sniper's middle on the tower way. Is taking damage. And he pops his Mask of Madness. They knew, they knew oh, but he's going to go down here. Oh my, Finish. Silencer. And that's Binge. Binge goes down. Good Ravage comes out a bit late. And he gets ice balled and is going down as well. Timber in just for good measure. And meanwhile, the tower mid here is almost down. They're going to be able to push that down, I think. The Naga illusions were going for the silencer, it looks like, but that's not going to happen with that uh, flame guard on. Yeah, I think that they, they got a little worried when they saw the illusions. They, they weren't sure. <laughs> Oh, Jakiro, come on, no get the deny! Tower, really? It looks like he tried, but he got hit by that Ember Spirit. That's kind of scary. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, it made no mistake. I would have backed off too, but it would have been a nice play. If I were Ember Spirit right now, I would really be working and getting that Perseverance to get that, uh... uh what should I call it? It's the thing. Battle Fury. Yeah, um, Because <laughs> yeah. he, yeah. he definitely needs that regen right about now. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Um... Razor is pretty scary at this point. Oh yeah, he's getting pretty uh, scary. That static link just does wonders. Yeah, he's I mean, and I don't know if you saw, but it, it even works through the Naga the Naga song. I didn't know it did yeah. that. If it's on before the Naga song starts, it continues. Go! Yeah. So when the Naga yeah, song it, ends, he has tons of damage. Yeah, it pierces spell immunity. So. Oh my. Uh, So we've got three mid. I'm not not quite sure what what they're gonna be able to get done. But I do like the decision for the Naga to head back down. She's gonna get some good farm off of this creep wave. Oh yeah. Definitely. That bottom tower is uh, 885 HP, so it's not like she's gonna be able to do it. Incoming ice blast to try and scout her out. Yeah. She wisely gets out of the way. <laughs> 
The Razor now also has a bottle. I don't know. I mean, they don't have a whole lot of rune control this game. I'm not sure the bottles are a good decision. I think it would be better to go just for straight up regen in this case. Yeah. Either that or just have more rune control. Yep. I I can agree with that. The tide is just hanging around this uh, tier one tower. Yeah, and they're about to start pushing Shit, in here. No. He needs Dyer's to start being a bit careful here. Damage. Yeah. Ice Ball comes out mid here. Yeah. Is he going to catch them out? He's going to catch the Jakir out at least. He also catches the Venge out. That's not going to be good for them. Oh, and he catches the Sniper out too. Oh, the Global Silence. There it is. Yeah, there it comes. Oh, and Jakir is down as well. Sniper comes out, does a little harass with his ult, but that's not going to be enough. He's going down as well. Naga and Tide both uh, come in here. Yeah, I think they just need to back up. They just need to back up. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they, they both, I I think, let me check, uh, Naga does have Song up, but she doesn't have mana. Now she does. But, I mean, either way, there wasn't anything the two of them could do, even with their ultis. Yeah, I mean, that was some some really good play by the Dyer here. Oh, no. Yeah. Nice combination of those global ults. Yeah, it was. Here comes another Ice Ball out to the mid here. He's not going to catch anyone out. Does put the uh, initial debuff on the Tide Hunter, but it's not the main one. And it looks like Dyer is pushing up to try and push this in a bit further, even. Oh my, lots of drawing. Very pretty. <laughs> Uh, Razor, Razor was trying to indicate where to go, and Timber saw. Um, and Naga picks up her Defusal Blade here, so she's gonna actually start coming online a little bit and doing a bit more damage. Yeah. But that's the only thing she really has so far. Yeah, I mean, she's still walking around with brown boots, which, I mean, you, you will see pros Radiant's do, Trump but, um, is being attacked. Yeah. Radiant had fortified their towers. <laughs> no. Ice Path comes out here, so does the Ice Ball. Radiant's top tower and it's gonna hit a lot of them. Actually, it misses most of them. It only hits the Naga and the uh, Jakiro. That might be enough to bring those two down, though. Yeah. The Avenge tries to block a bit here, so the Ravage comes out, but meanwhile, the uh, Song of the Siren is already yeah. going on. Yeah, Ember Spirit's I... gonna chase, so is the Timber. They have a lot of chase on this team. I think that might have been a little bit of a panic. Oh, that might have been Good a little play. bit of a picnic. Because if you only use one of those ults, either the Ravage or the Song at that point, you have it for the reinitiation down here. Yeah. Uh oh. It was and... good play by the uh, Timber Saw, though. He got a lot of kills all at once there with his, uh, what you call it, his uh, Whirling Death. It's always yeah. hard to remember that name, his Saws. <laughs> yeah, and he also had a nice Timber Chain down here to where the uh, tier one tower used to be yeah and uh, he he was able to put himself in fantastic position there yeah we are waiting on this vengeful spirit disconnect we do have the uh, sniper trying to TP out here the razor is right on top of him with the ult meanwhile the rest of the dire team is actually gonna come up here they're probably going to just you know walk straight up to him and try and stun him out here. Well, he's got point one left on the TP. He's out. He's he's going to be gone. Oh, yeah. Um, he, there, he's getting out in time for sure. Yeah, he's getting out. But, however, what I will say is this tier one, if they want to, is is done. This one up top is uh, just, I mean, it's going to melt if they, if they want to get up there and clear that creep wave. Because even when Tide and, and Siren come up in 23 and 28 seconds, their ultimates are down. So, yeah. uh, Venge doesn't even have swap for another 17 seconds. So, now's a, a prime time to get this last tier 1 tower. It's the last one standing, so... Yeah. Uh, I think that should probably be the play. Like I said, I mean, Sniper's out. <laughs> He's gone. Yeah, the Venge and the Jakiro also don't have their, uh... Uh... Buyback. I can't remember the words, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> so they can't come up any sooner either. 
Yeah. It's only 12 seconds, but that could have, you know, like you were saying, they're, they're going to get the Tier 1 tower. The 12 seconds would have been enough for them to get out there if they had buyback. Right. Right. And at their level, they're they're pretty low level still. The buyback isn't a huge cost right now if they had yeah. it. So they would have been able to save the tower, I think. Yeah, I think um, I think here is uh, Razor needs to just turn around and go up here, use the plasma field, clear out this creep wave, make room for his, and the the rest of his team just needs to just come right up through the secret shop and get ready to take that tower. Yeah, they they could take the tower so easily right now. I think it's yeah. I mean, they don't even need a plan for it, I don't think. They could just go in there and start smacking the creeps, and it's down. They yep. have no way to defend it with all of them down right now. No. Nope. The only one alive is Sniper. He's TPing now, so he can't TP back in. I didn't see where he was TPing to, did you? I would assume I... he's TPing home. Yeah, I'm going to assume that it's home. It looks like there is a TP coming into home, and since he's the only one left alive, I'm going to have to assume it's his. <laughs> yeah, I don't see where it is, actually. It's on the fountain, like, if you oh. see. It's oh, like, I see it. There we go. Okay. It's, like, on the fountain. Yeah. yeah, unfortunately, pausing removes a lot of the effects, the little keys yeah. that you look for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, yeah, so he's TPing back to the fountain. He's not going to be able to walk out there by the time they're gonna get there to defend although they may seen... they they have the uh mid lane pushed out here they could also very easily take down this tier two i think while they're dead what i like it's the same scenario what are they gonna do the lane is already pushed out to it that's true they just need to push it in that's a good point that's and true. the tier two would be much more effective here than the tier one i think it, it is would. the off lane tier one it's not that important yep and they they don't have glyph either so, yeah, glyph yeah is i kind of like that Actually, so, I, I kind of would like sending Razor up top, let him clear out that creep wave, and then everybody else take down this tier Radiance 2. Middle tower yeah. Is taking damage. yeah, and here it looks like we're coming to uh, kill the tier 2. Everyone's coming out, actually. Yep. Radiance middle tower I can't fault that. Attacked. I mean, tier 2 in the mid is much more important than an offlane tier 1, so... Yeah. And they are getting and... down pretty fast, but they may not be able to take it fully here. We'll see. Denied. Sniper oh, denies it. Nice play by the sniper. Yeah, that was. There's boots on the ground. I'm not sure what that, that was. was. Whose were those? Were they... I guess they were ancient apparitions. <laughs> I'm not sure. It could have been Timbersaw. A lot of people just have brown boots right now, so it's hard to tell. But they are rotating back up to top lane here, it looks like. They're going to take that while they're busy defending the mid lane here. Looks I like think Tide it's Hunter is stacking plan. these ancients here, presumably for the Naga. Well, that's what they're gonna need. They're gonna need uh, Naga to Radiance come online, and they're attack. gonna need Hyper to continue to. Oh my! Ice ball going all the way here. Looks like he's going for those illusions, but Radiance those aren't the real ones. Is under siege. But the other effect that has Radiance is that ancient apparition can uh, push the lanes from anywhere he wants. Really, it kills an entire mm -hmm. creep wave. And it looks like we are going to catch out the Tide Hunter doing these ancients. He does not know the ward is right there. They can see him doing it. The Ember Spirit is going to just steal all of these ancients. Thank you very much for that money. Though he he's getting pretty love from this. <laughs> Look, at ancient apparition comes in. <laughs> and Timber's gonna take him. Timber is well, also just, here. We're just passing the ancients. Oh yeah. That's just sloppy seconds from the ancients. This is just yeah. Awful. And it looks like they're actually going to kill them outright. They yep. may want to uh, just back off here, yeah, and leave it yeah, alive. Yeah, yep, yep, yeah. Oh, but well, Silencer wants it. He's yeah. like, that's that belongs to me. That's my gold. I need that. Illusion. <laughs> and I'm I'm still here on hero level. We're actually pretty low level considering how late it is into the game already. Uh, yeah. for some heroes at least. Yeah. Uh, I will check out the net worth here, because that's getting to be pretty important here. And Razor is definitely far ahead of everyone in net worth. We also have Timbersaw and Ember Spirit as a close second. They're I think we're gonna having go a lot of trouble with here. here. We're gonna go on the mid. Lots of action, zooming out here. 
song goes That's off, so does the song. ice path. That's a good song. Hey. Now they just need to get away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Back just away. Just need to back up on that. Yep. Yeah, they, they definitely, they weren't in a very good position to try and do anything about that. They didn't have any vision, necessarily. There's a, there is a ward right here, but all of the heroes were more in, like, this area, and they couldn't really see it, so... Lots of God, there pings. are pings everywhere. Oh my. It looks like they're really wanting to push out these. Um, <laughs> wow. So like they're really Dyer's wanting to push out these uh, creep waves. So Razor's up top. Now they've got Timber Saw down at the bottom. I think they're really wanting to put some pressure on these these tier twos. Oh, and the AL is gonna miss. Oh, actually, he walks into it at the last second, and it does hit him. It's not good here for the uh, sniper. Although it is gonna wear off, it looks like. Yeah, he, he should be fine. Dyer's middle tower yeah, is being attacked. It looks like is working on that medallion. Um, I'm, I don't know. I haven't seen a whole lot of medallion on an apparition. I suppose it works though if he's going to play that five position. Yeah, it could could also be setting him up for uh, for Roche. You know, it's it's always good to have a medallion when you're going to go in there. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it could be. There, there are worse things, I guess, that an ancient apparition could buy, so... Yeah. So we have the Ember Spirit picking up his Battle Fury here. Of invisibility. Yep, that's... That's gonna be a little scary for, uh... He is Invis here. Looks stations. like he's gonna try and go take out these Naga illusions. I think he's realizing that they're fake, though. Yeah. Naga is doing a really good job of, uh, However, that is the real Tidehunter right there, if he wants that. Yeah. He is under the tower, though. He'll have to be careful. He is actually just going to go place a ward here and then zoop yep. back to his teammates. Yep. But the thing is, they had an observer ward right there, so this is about to get dewarded real yeah. quick. Yeah. Doesn't look yep. like anyone has the ability to deward it yet, though. No it, gem, no, no sentries. Yeah, nothing here. So that's a problem. They know it's there, but what are they going to do about it? They're telling the Naga here that she needs to get out, but she's not going to be getting out quick enough. Um, and she is going to go down here. Yes, she is. Um, she didn't have song. It's still on cooldown. She's just now coming off. Yeah. So. And uh, Razor actually just bought an eggs, so that's going to do quite a bit of damage. Yeah. He does get caught on this ice path here. Oh, Gets swapped swap. back into good the tower. Swap. He is going to go down here. Look at that. Yeah, Tidehunter right. is so taking a lot of damage, though. Going he going goes down, too. Mega kill. It looks like ravaged. we have people getting like, caught on the ice path here. They're running away. Nice icon on that sniper uh, ult. I like that. Yeah. Lots of ice paths here. Yeah. He's just spamming it every so time. Effect it's so effective, I mean. It is. It is. Sniper is coming out being really risky. He wants the kill. Backs up just in time not to get hit by that chakram. Yeah, he just he doesn't have enough mana for assassinate, so I, he should probably just back up. Yeah. And it looks like we have Dyer rotating up to top, trying to push that. Yeah. Dyer's bottom tower. Yeah, they're they're just attacked. trying to choke him out. I mean, they really are. They're they're really going creep wave after creep wave, really pinging out the big creep waves, really trying to Radiant's just top tower put pressure. You know, make them make them use those Dyer's TPs to rotate to support fire. just for these creep waves. Yeah. You know. Titan is gonna get hit by the ancient apparition ult. There's a Naga song going on. Yeah. What's up? Ember. Ember is just running away here. They're gonna get TPs. He gets uh, interrupted with that well net done. there. Very yeah, good play by the Nardis I mean. Yep. Looks like we have Dyer just kind of walking away here. They're gonna go back and farm up and... things of that nature, I suppose. We have yeah. Razor over here pushing out the lane. Farming it up. Yep. Dyer's middle tower taking damage. 
Meanwhile, mid is actually pushed out here from the Radiant. They may be able to take this tier 1 mid here. Dyer's middle tower Tidehunter is sitting attack. here farming in the spot where they know they have vision again. Yeah. <laughs> pretty risky, but their entire team is there. Should be Dyer's pretty safe for now. Taking damage. Pop the glyph on the dire side here. Yeah, Ravage is still down another 15 seconds. Nagasong obviously down for quite a while. 105 seconds left on that one. So I think that's why they probably backed off the mid. They realized they just they didn't really have the ultimates to, to commit if there were going to be rotations coming in. Yeah. Razor does have a DD rune bottled here, so that's going to be pretty scary. Eesh. I don't know the interaction of Static Link with the DD rune, do you know? Does I don't it... know that. I don't... Hmm. I feel I like that would that be pretty sure. scary if that stacks. Um, <laughs> yeah. I... I... Mm. Ooh. Titan getting hit claw. by a lot of these yep. ice balls here. Yeah. Have Ember Spirit pushing the lane into the tower here. Yeah. He's just gonna back off after that. They're all uh, grouped up here to defend that tower. Naga Siren looks like she's going for a drum here. Ping's going out mid here. Looks like they want to push. Yeah, Timber and Ancient were just chilling around the Roche area. I, was, I, I wasn't sure what the play was going to be there. Yeah. It's, it's kind of <laughs> interesting. I was like, are we are we going to do Roche? Or, I mean, what? what's the plan here? <laughs> yeah. Ember Spirit well, looks like I, he... The more, the more time, though, that Naga is having to kind of stay grouped and babysit everybody else, uh, the worst things are getting for huge douches because she's not able to go off on her own and do some farm and everything. She's just kind of hanging around. Uh, Sniper has his shadow blade, it looks like. He's scouting out a bit here. Oh, Naga. Action going on mid here. Naga pops yeah. her all. He's going to barely get away. She had to. Yeah, she was dead. Razor has over 300 damage right now. Oh my, that DD plus the static link. I don't think it stacks, it doesn't look like it's stacking. Yeah, I don't think so either. But it's still a huge amount of damage for that Razor. Yeah. Plus he also has the haste. Yeah. Unfortunately, the rest of the team was not really in a position where they could take advantage of that. Yeah. Uh, completely. So... But the entire Radiant team is having to turtle up here. Yeah. They're the not able seat. to get any farm, really. The sniper is getting some farm, but he's... Yeah. And it's every time this happens that the creep wave gets past, uh, gets close to a tier 1 tower, like up here at the top, they TP. And Razor yeah. just clears it out. There's smoke and... coming out here, actually. They're going into Roche. It's a very good decision for the smoke here. Yeah like that play. And here is the medallion on Roche. It looks like that's the entire plan for the medallion. Yeah, that's, for now. that's what I would think. Um, normally if a five position picks it up, someone like Ancient, that's that's the reason. No one else no one else really has a slot for it. And yeah. you, know, you want it to, uh, for Roche. Oh, unfortunately Roche is now going to hit the Ancient Apparition. Yeah. That's not good. That's and we problem, have uh, Ember Spirit bailing here. Yeah, Everyone here is bailing. That's gonna be a They're not able to they... kill it. I think I think they needed Razor in there. I yeah, think Razor think would have for sure helped that. Oh come on, Silencer! You wanted to deny that. Oh, they're gonna get the kill on this tower. Oh no, the illusions die, and they are gonna get to the deny. Dyer's middle All tower right. has been denied. Yeah, if you look at net worth, man, Razor is just leaving everybody behind, especially on on the Radiant. Yeah. So. And Razor is just continuing to farm this up here. Yeah. He's so far ahead in his farm. <laughs> he really is. Oh. <laughs> Sniper is pushing it out to the river here. I'm not sure that he's going to try and get any farther past. 
it would be a really bad decision. And they're actually going to try and go on him. They have the smoke ready for his Shadow Blade. Very prepared here. Uh, and he's going to take a lot of damage. He's not going to be able to shoot the out. It's not going to be enough. We have the AA ult just for good measure here, too. Yeah. Timber is playing just so well. He's already got a Bloodstone. Uh, he's got a Mystic Staff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's he's doing well. <laughs> I would assume that Mystic Staff is going to be going into a uh, Shiva's guard. Shiva. Yeah. Uh, he's that's... going to be so tanky soon. He already is pretty tanky. I mean... Yeah. Well, he's got 11 Bloodstone charges. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. You have Smoke on the Silencer here. Not sure what he's going for with that. He's going to place a ward, it looks like. Yeah, but again, the uh, Radiant have one in the same spot, so they're going to know that that got planted. Yeah, looks like, yeah, Silence is just going to go on a, a ward journey here. He's going to find the uh, Jakiro alone here. And, and Jakiro he's done. is going to go down here. He actually has oh. his wand. He make it away on that. No, Slide of Fist is going to do him in. Not your best effort. I'm getting messages from people. What is this? Oh, hang on here. Yeah, Dyer is extremely well warded here. I mean, check out the vision they have. They have four wards up on the Di on the Radiant side here. Radiant Very aggressive yeah, ward positioning. Siege. Yeah, they definitely do. And they are going to catch out the sniper here. There's not going to be anything he can do to get away. The lesson was. The Radiant's top tower is. Being I, I will say the Radiant do have some pretty good defensive wards, but um, you know, it's only so much you can do. They are really being forced to turtle up here. Yeah. I mean, and they have... They have the high wards out on the Radiant here. We have the temple thing here, and we have the uh, mountain. But under siege. that's all the vision they have. Yeah. It's good Radiant for defense, but they're, they're still pretty scared. They don't have a lot of options, really. Yeah. Oh, Revenge is gonna go down Radiant's here. AL gonna hit two of them. Got the Naga and the Tide Hunter. And they, they're gonna they take quite a bit the, of damage. They pop that glyph, so this tier two tower is done. There's nothing they attacked. can do. Yeah. So now all the outer towers are down except for the bottom. Radiant's top tower is under sure. Radiant yeah. has lost their top tower. And Razor is working on this creep wave so that uh, they can start working on that. <laughs> yeah. Timber's gonna come finish this creep wave off at mid here. And that's a BKB that just arrived on Razor. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. They're gonna have a lot of trouble killing him now. No I think they're gonna try and go do Roche again here, actually. See how that works. They know they don't have a lot of wards out. No, they're just oh, going no, for the no. rune, I guess. Okay. I think now would be a really good time to do Roche. They had him pushed in. Yeah. From Sniper is running. To Inferno. He turns around briefly. I don't think that's a very good decision. No. <laughs> no, he needs to be running one way, and that is to high ground. Yeah, they're gathering in here. He is pretty safe here. Naga ult goes off. I'm not sure what's with that. Maybe they thought they were up on the high ground there. They're not, though. No, that's it's very curious, but they probably know that just happened, and Naga... Oh yeah, they definitely had the vision of that song going off there. Naga almost dead. Is the AAL gonna hit? It is not going to hit. Just barely misses. Tidehunter goes down. So that's a good Venge. macro pyre, but... Good uh, macro pyre. The Razor is able to just walk around in it, though. Yeah. Everyone on Dire is pretty low. The Sniper is going to have a field day if they try to come back in. Well, except for the uh, Razor. But, I, oh, I don't think but we're chasing him. Yeah. Uh-oh. He might have gone too far, though. 
Yeah, good Reyes ensnare. is going down that here. That was a good ensnare. Very good. So Naga is also going to go down here. So there's nothing she can do. Whole lot of murder going on here. Yep. The sniper have his ult. He doesn't have enough mana for his ult. No, He's gonna he get hit by this AA partially. He get, takes the initial effect Dyer's from it. Top tower has fallen. Meanwhile, we're chasing oh, the sniper here. A goes a down. Oh my. Oh, and tied to the tie going down is. too. People buying back. Sniper buys back. They have to. They have oh yeah. To. The problem is they're buying back and they're fighting in waves and they're just throwing themselves yeah. away. I mean, on both sides too, though. Look at that. Yeah. Ember Spirit just goes down to the sniper. The global silence did go off, but it's not going to save him from the sniper. This is this has been like a. Uh, uh, a battle royale. I mean, just yeah. each one jumping in the ring, the next Ryan's one dies, and then the next one comes up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I, is in I don't know what they can do. They're doing a great job, excuse me, of turtling here, though. Like, yeah. Well, <laughs> that was an amazing fight. It lasted a really long time, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, any time that, that basically you could, well, let's say, die six or seven times, which is what they did, and only... Uh, 200 HP come off your T3. Yeah, that's that's a good defense. Oh yeah, that's quite good. I think. I mean, <laughs> I mean meanwhile sure. the the Radiant Slains are actually pushing into the Dire Towers here. Yeah. While that was all going on, and yeah. the Dire are deciding they need to defend this here. Yeah. They don't want to lose the advantage they gained. Sniper using his shadow blade again. It looks like he's gonna try and go Dyer's grab this rune here. Yeah. Damage. This will come in handy. Tidehunter TPs up onto the mountain to kill that. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> well, Not the best decision. Now what are you gonna do? <laughs> oh well, he's, he's gonna, gonna just wait there till he has his yeah, blink again. But blink ooh, again. if the if the Dyer were close there, he would have been screwed. Dyer's yeah. middle tower is being attacked. Well, there's a ping for Looks Roche. Looks like we're going so, out for Roche yeah. again here. The Radiant do not have vision of that. They have a ton of vision in their jungle, but not quite any vision of Roche. Yeah. Looks well, like we're hanging out here, maybe waiting for smoke. No one has smoke. We have timber, timber buying just smoke. Purchased, yeah. They're yeah, getting prepared, that's, but that's they don't even need yeah. it. They have no vision of the Roche pit. They have no yeah. way of knowing that right now, though. Yeah. And the smoke is by far the best decision. I think they just gotta wait on the courier here. Yeah. We have uh, Ember Spirit grabbing that rune. It looks like he's gonna scout out. They see him there. They do now have vision of that. They pop the smoke, but that's not gonna do anything when they're right there. Monsters. Dust comes out. I'm gonna get the sniper kill. <laughs> Ember did such they're chasing a good the Naga job as well. With that remnant. She is gonna go down to the ticks here. Oh my! Lives taken. Yep. And now they can. They yeah, can now they're free in. to just go do Roche. Yeah, they don't even need the smoke, Dyer's and so now they just have a, a smoke when they want to make a move, maybe on this bottom tower. Uh, they they did pop it actually oh, right at the end of that okay. fight, but they were too Dyer's close for it to have any effect. Being attacked. Ah. So it was kind of a wasted smoke, but I don't think they knew they were there. It was a bit too late. Yeah. And this Roche is going to go down pretty quickly, it looks like. Yeah, this, this is going to be an easy Roche. This is, they should have had Ember or Razor in the first time they tried it. But yeah, this time Razor is actually just able to push this tower while they're doing it here. Ember Spirit ends up taking the, the uh, Aegis. Yep. It looks like we're going to push in this Tier 2 tower here. The last Tier 2 tower on the Radiant side. We have AA out going off. It's going to hit the Venge. She's going to take quite a bit of damage from that. Radiance bottom tower is being attacked. Radiance She's going to be back in the phone. I think this, this, they might just keep going on this push here. Yeah, they're going to just keep pushing this. They're not grouped up to defend it yet. They're realizing they need to. They're coming out. The sniper's about to come back up too. They're going to do what they can to damage them before he comes back up and gets out. Yeah. But they are starting to group. This is not the best scenario for the Dyer right now either. The lanes on the other two lanes are pushed out. They should probably yeah. just go do those while they're distracted yeah. with this one. Yeah. That Battle Fury is doing work on that Ember Spirit. And it looks like he is going for his second one. 
Looks like we have Naga Siren ult coming off here. Razor is just stealing all the damage from her, though. He has 224 damage from that static link. That's ridiculous. Pops is BKB. He's, he's, he's doing everybody. tons of work on everyone. He ends up going down. I mean, he dies, but so what? I mean, he just pops. Slipper goes down. Naga goes down. That's a team wipe. Naga buys back. They're gonna be able to push this though. Naga does not have her ult Naga, anymore. Naga's the only one that had buyback, so this is a set of racks. Yeah. This is At definitely a set of racks. In fact, they're gonna chase this Naga, attacked. keep her away. Tower uh, goes down. Bottom tower is demolished. Radiance bottom uh, I think it's just gonna be the one attack. set of racks, but still, that's that's gonna hurt. Yeah, they don't and have that razor it. damage that's to it. set it. it. Oh, that, yeah. Nice <laughs> GG call there. Um, yeah, they don't have the razor damage to take the racks very fast, but Dark they don't need it. Trip. Good game. Yeah. It was. It was a good game. Um, I still think that uh, it was a good good lineup for uh, huge douches, but um, Razor got too big, and uh, once again, I, I just think that um, the Timbersaw had a fantastic game. 9, 1, and 11. That's going to oh, yeah, be pretty sure. go up against him uh, once, he's, once he's got all that going on. Um, their cores got more farmed. That's just the way it was in this game. Yep.